Right now, I am in between the most colorful, most beautiful animals around, in the Macaw exhibition in the MFN Berlin. Now, depending on who you ask and how you count, you can put about a dozen different species into the macaws. And most of them are endangered, actually, in their natural habitat in Brazil and the rainforest. So their colorful plumage doesn't really help them, unfortunately. One enemy of the macaws might be, for example, the jaguar, as depicted here. As a predator of opportunity, however, it wouldn't spend its time hunting macaws all day. That's way too hard. But it's still a cat, so sometimes it would just try, jump up and try to catch one of these birds. This one has been depicted here in, from our own taxidermy department that we have in-house. And this jaguar actually comes from the Tier Park Berlin. With this taxidermy that we have right here, they actually got best of show at a contest not too long ago. And I think we all know why. A more pressing issue for our macaws is loss of habitat. And that is also due to our eating habits here in Germany. Because if you eat pork, your pig has to be fed something, and that's mostly soy. Soy doesn't grow in Germany, so it's imported from Brazil in millions of tons every year. And in Brazil, for cultivating soy there, they have to get rid of the rainforest. And this is exactly where, for example, our hyacinth macaw lives. The hyacinth macaw doesn't eat soy itself, it would prefer nuts, for example. And it can crush the nuts easily with a very strong beak that it has. But it can also use this beak for very minuscule, very fine movements and delicate, such as uh, just taking care of the feathers, for example, as depicted here. The hyacinth macaw, for example, here, that is the largest parrot in the world, can grow up to maybe two kilograms and can be about 90 years old altogether. Thank you.